let's talk about some of these uh, signings. Wow, uh, it's been a while and there's been some, some big moves. Obviously the last video I made was about Matthew Kachuk going to Florida for a first round pick in what was it, 2025, potentially 2026. You've got uh, Huberto and Uyghur coming over as well. Um, after that, Matthew Kachuk signs his eight years, $9.5 million deal. Great deal by Florida, in my opinion. And then <laughs> what does Calgary do? They basically give the Johnny Goudreau contract to Huberto. Uh, it's 10 and a half million per year, eight years. Uh, some people are like, why are you giving that to a 30 year old? What's Johnny Goudreau, 29? Um, Huberto had what? The second most points in the NHL this year. Yeah, give, give him his money. And they're going to sign Uyghur long term as well. So you get a first in there. You got these two built in there. Solid moves. Um, is it expensive? Yeah. Uh, has no team won the Stanley Cup with uh, with a $10 million plus player? Sure. Um, but let's be honest. It was just a... It's going to happen. More and more contracts like this are going to happen. Heck, Colorado's a dynasty and Nathan McKinnon's going to get $13 plus million, Right? Um... Some more uh, signings. You got Bergeron signing for two and a half million for one year. He's back. What a deal! And then he gets twenty-five. What is it? Two point five million for player bonuses. What does he do? Play ten games and he gets it. That'll go onto the cap next year. I like the move. Um, Boston's, I'm guessing, hoping the cap's going to rise. They say in the next what five years it's supposed to rise up to ninety million, maybe. Um, Krejci, one year, one million dollar deal, and he gets what two million dollars in player player bonuses good moves by boston if i see nazem kadri's name linked to boston i'm gonna shit myself that's gonna that'd be horrible just imagine that no he, he's signing on long island with lou at any time that's gonna happen um another signing you had lawson kraus he's making what 4.6 or 4.3 million dollars something like that over five five years i think it is with uh with arizona crazy in a time where Krejci and Bergeron can be on the same team, combine their, their cap hits, and it's less than Lawson Krauss is making in a single season. Um, Wah or Roy, however you want to say it, in Vegas, he sends a five-year deal for a third liner, three million or so, something like that. I think that's a good pickup <laughs> by Vegas, but heck, knowing them, he might not even make it through through year one. Um, other signings, you got people like, uh, like Wright signing his deal and everything like that, but it's it's kind of slow going you know you got that big the big deal with Matthew Kachuk and then it's gonna kind of be slow sailing still some signings to happen um oh yeah Klingberg he signed as well I'm just going off the top of my head Klingberg signed one year seven million he's doing the Taylor Hall thing I think he overplayed his cards uh with Dallas and probably other teams um Anaheim gets him for the year power play quarterback um you got Drysdale back there. Uh, get to he's a righty, right-hander, I believe. You know, following Klingberg's footsteps a bit, kind of get a little bit of men mentorship from him, and then he'll take over when Klingberg goes somewhere else at the deadline for I don't know. He'll get more than what they got for Taylor Hall. Uh, Buffalo did anyway. God, that was terrible moves, wasn't it? And then there's the Leafs who who chose Felino and paid more than getting Taylor Hall, who Felino didn't play too much. Oh. The pains anyway um i think that's it not much else uh just gonna enjoy the summer here and uh can't wait for hockey season world juniors start today i believe so i get to watch a game or two maybe watch team usa's game i think um watched the a bit of the semi-final in the helenka gretzky tournament canada beating finland and then canada beating the swedes there in the gold medal game where they dominated that was cool at least some positive with hockey canada being an absolute dumpster fire that it is. Let's see what the World Juniors bring. I'm excited about Bedard, but you look at that the roster and you're like, oh, what they had. Like, you know, Power's not going to be there. A couple other guys aren't going to be there. Um, but hey, at least Bedard's going to get a lot of a lot of opportunity. That's it for me. Enjoy your uh, week, everyone. Enjoy the sunshine. I hope it's nice here. Mugginess seems to have gone. Rain's not here. Enjoy the day. Take care. Cheers. Go Leafs go.